Cassie Warden is going to report to the control center, Frank. But we'll have another drill later on in the week. Sure. Sure. Right. Right. We can't put too much stress on the importance of Warden's reports to the control center. These reports are absolutely vital to every community's air raid defenses. The lives of men, women, and children, our neighbors, may depend on them. Every warden must be absolutely sure that he knows how to make a proper report. You see, when the control center in your community goes into action during a raid, the reports which come in from the warden are the only means the control center has of knowing what is happening. They are the basis of decisions to send out fire units, police, medical units, decontamination units, or whatever is needed. A poor report may mean that too much equipment is ordered to one spot, with the result that not enough remains for later emergencies. Or it may mean that insufficient or wrong equipment is dispatched, and the warden's own sector will suffer. That's why these reports must be complete and accurate. Your official warden's report form appears in your air raid warden's handbook, published by the Office of Civilian Defense. And the warden has only to answer each question on the form to provide the control center with all the needed information. Now, let's go over the form in detail. Always begin your report with the words Air raid damage. Then give your zone and sector number. Next, report the location of the occurrence, preferably by street and number, giving also the name of the nearest cross street. Give the type of bomb, whether high explosive, incendiary, or poison gas. State how many casualties, and whether or not any are trapped under the wreckage. If an exact count would take some time, estimate the number as accurately as you can. If there is fire, say so, and report damage to Maine. Special service will, of course, be needed to deal with such damage. Report roads blocked and check carefully for unexploded bombs and report them. Then give the time of the occurrence. Say what services are on the spot or coming, and add any remarks which you think may help the control center to dispatch the proper equipment. Finish with, message end and stop. And remember, since the operator is taking down your information on a similar form, be sure and give her each item in its proper sequence. When you send in reports to control center, you have a great responsibility to your community. It's up to you, as the eyes of Control Center, to see that each report tells Control Center just what it needs to know. Now let's see how a good warden would do the job. The air raid warning has sounded. Enemy planes are overhead.
casualties. Mrs. Wilson must be home this time of night with those three kids of hers. Casualties for fire. Yes. Getting bigger all the time. checking the damage, the warden goes to the nearest designated phone or to his post, whichever is quicker. Hello, Tom, what happened? My explosive. The Wilson place. Control center. Air raid damage. Zone A, sector 17. Sector 17, proceed with report. 237 Fremont Street, near Elm Avenue. 237 Fremont Street, near Elm Avenue. High explosive bomb and incendiary. High explosive bomb and incendiary. Casualties 4, trapped in wreckage. Casualties 4, trapped in wreckage. Fire, overhead electric cables down. Fire, overhead electric cables down. Time of occurrence 110. Time Service is on the spot. Two auxiliary policemen, no other help coming yet. Service is on the spot. Two auxiliary policemen, no other help coming yet. Remark, fire equipment needed badly. Fire equipment needed badly. Message ends. Message ends. Right. I'm going back now, Bill. Okay. Better give me an extra pair of gloves, will you, Walter? I'm taking the first aid kit with me. All right. Thanks. Good luck, Tom. That's the way a report should be made. Accurate concise, and unhurried. Speed is important, of course, but not at the expense of accuracy. Bear in mind, too, that while this warden called the control center from his post, he could have used any one of the specially designated phones in his sector if it happened to be near the incident. It is possible, of course, that bombing might disrupt phone service. Now let's see what our warden would do if he found his phone dead. The phone is always faster than messenger service. And since phones look into many different cables, there may be one nearby in working order, even though yours is dead. So instruct your messenger to find a working phone if it's on his way to control center. Every post should have trained messengers on the spot. But if for any reason they are all out on duty and unavailable, send one of your sector wardens. That report must get to control center quickly. When the enemy attacks, when the bombs begin to fall, you, the air raid warden, are the eyes of the whole defense organization. Every move the control center makes depends on you and your report. Know your job. Air raid damage, zone A, sector 17, 22 Maple Avenue, near Main Street. Incendiary bomb, casualties 5, fire spreading, water main first, time of occurrence 418, message ends. 